Do you love that Chick-fil-A or Sonic Nugget Ice, but either Chick-fil-A is closed or Sonic is too far away? Well, guess what? Now there's an at-home Nugget Ice maker, and that's what we're gonna check out in this video. You know what? Enough talk, let's get right into this review. When I first received this item, I sure thought it said Dr. Pepper. You can't tell me that their choice of colors wasn't meant to fool you. It actually is Dr. Prepare's Countertop Nugget Ice Maker. This item was sent to me for review and I'm kind of excited about it because it's like that Chick-fil-A or Sonic Ice that people love. This unit retails for right around $279. Let's do a quick unboxing. All right, we've set our Nugget Ice Maker out here at the camper, and I do want to give you a few specifications first, okay? So the height from top to bottom here in the back is 16 and a half inches, and it is also 16 and a half inches from front to back, and then of course from across the front side, it's 10.6 inches. And the directions they recommend if you put this on a countertop, that your countertop be at least 23.6 inches tall so this will fit underneath there give you enough space of course i'm sure you can tell this has a highly reflective surface on the front of this dr prepare nugget ice maker the directions also tell us that after you unbox it you let it sit for 24 hours and this is to make sure all the fluids are settled and transport just in case it got tipped or whatever you know your compressor or your motor is going to be completely fine that's the same thing you do for a refrigerator or a freezer just to make sure nothing gets ruined so we've let ours sit for 24 hours now it's time to clean it there is some random pieces that are taped down here and there make sure you take those out then we're going to take out the reservoir basket inside the reservoir basket you see our scoop to scoop out the ice nuggets what i'm gonna do this part right here is actually dishwasher safe so i'm gonna go wash this in the dishwasher and now we're gonna clean out the machine the directions refers to what's called a cleaning water to use before your first use but they don't really tell you what that is so what i'm going to use is one cup of distilled white vinegar and one cup of filtered water and i'm going to use that to clean the machine out and i'm going to run this through a cycle a few times this part seems kind of gross i guess but i just have a paper towel with the white vinegar water mixture and i'm just scrubbing off all the different surfaces before i actually operate this unit we are plugged in and in standby mode we have our cleaning solution inside so we're just going to hit this cleaning button you can see that light lit up blue but we're still technically in the standby off position so right now the machine is actually taking that liquid that we put in and it's sucking up throughout the system cleaning out anything that might be in the lines and at the end we'll drain it i'll show you how to do that later this half vinegar half water mixture is also the same mixture you can use to descale the unit when you need to do that the directions do reference a citric based formula but that would work as well just the same as this after the cleaning cycle is done you're supposed to lift up on these drain tubes you're going to unplug the drain, this plastic piece and let that cleaning liquid drain out it actually does not run through the machine to make ice now that we hook these tubes back up we clip it back into the machine and I'm actually going to run through that cleaning cycle now with fresh water about three or four times. I will say in hindsight, maybe I will look into that citrus based cleaner because the vinegar water one took me a long time to rinse this machine out again and again and again before I no longer taste the vinegar. Although I know it's clean, it still took a long time. I've run clean water through the cleaning cycle six additional times until I just could not smell any more vinegar and I feel pretty pleased with the process. Now let's add our water. I now have to fill the water up to this line right here as our max fill. I was able to fit about 13 cups of water which is about 104 ounces until I reach the max full line. Now we're just going to turn this to the on position and let the process begin. As this is working through the cycle I notice a fan noise and like a vibrating noise. Let me put the microphone closer so you can hear it. I just wanted to make sure you knew that this does make some noise as it's making ice. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the Dr. Prepare Nugget Ice Maker? Something you would use, not so much? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I've officially reached the eight minute mark and I don't see any ice pouring out. I'm gonna watch it here just a little bit. I thought this thing made ice in eight minutes, but maybe the first load takes a little more time. I stand corrected. I just peeked down in there. I don't know if you can see that there are some nuggets in there. I think they're ready to fall. So it did take eight minutes. There it is, our first bits of nugget ice. 
It looks a little more watery than I like my ice, but it did make ice. There's actually a sensor in this ice maker where it'll tell it to stop making ice because it perceives it as being full, and that's what's actually happened now. So the compressor is no longer running and making ice, and you just have the ice sitting right here in the ice tray. The cool thing about this machine is, yes, this ice looks frozen right here on the top, but down towards the bottom, that ice could potentially be melting, because although this does have like an insulated surround, it's not like frozen like a freezer would be and so that ice actually will drip into water and go back into circulation. They actually recommend that you change the water every 24 hours so you don't keep circulating the same water over and over and over and I guess that's just to make sure you have clean water and of course you drain the water through those tubes in the back. Since we are full let's get ourselves a cup of this ice to take a closer look at it. This is a very little scooper. Before we take a look at this ice, I do want to say that the ice maker just kicked back on. After I took out a cup of ice, it recognized that the weight has changed and it's now less than that 3.5 pounds and it's now started making ice all by itself. So the machine did not just shut off. It actually is still just waiting for you to use the ice and now it can make some more ice again. As you can see, it is that little nugget ice, similar you would find at Sonic or at Chick-fil-A or so. Maybe a little different shape, but you sort of get that same feel and texture. And when you chew it, it's like a soft ice that doesn't hurt your teeth. Hope you don't mind me chewing on some ice here. Ready? See, it's soft, easy to crunch. And you know what? I really like this kind of ice. To give you a point of reference, one of those baskets makes about 10 cups of ice. So that's a lot of nugget ice. In this video, we were looking at the Dr. Prepare Nugget Ice Maker. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point, $280. That seems like a lot of money to me for an ice machine, but guess what? You get that chewable nugget ice and that's pretty cool. The basket holds 3.5 pounds of nugget ice. And so in a day, they say you can make up to 40 pounds of nugget ice and whoa, that is a lot. I love that it takes about eight minutes to start forming that ice because as soon as you set it up, almost quick and easy, there is the ice. I read through some of the reviews on Amazon and a few people returned their product because it was noisy. And although I do believe it does have a bit of noise, it's probably what every other ice maker sounds like when it's running a condenser. When it's not running, of course, it is quieter, but there is a bit of noise when it's running. Some people also complain that after a month or two months or three months, it stopped working. Now I haven't experienced that, but I've only used mine for a little over a week and it's been working fine. I do think in the end, the cleanup and storage prep does take a bit of time, like 20 to 30 minutes. But for me, I like to make sure it's dried out thoroughly. So when I use it the next time, it's cleaned and ready to go. I love using this at the campsite. And yes, you are the envy of all the other campsite because some people have ice machines, but no one else has the nugget ice machine, which everyone loves. Anyway, that was my full review of the Dr. Repair Nugget Ice Maker. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and hope you have a great day. When you're finished with making ice and you're ready to put your ice maker away, it's important that you turn it off. But notice how I turn that off. You can still hear the motor running. You're supposed to let that motor continue to run until it officially stops. Therefore, it's cooling itself down. So next, I'm gonna clean out all the ice in the bin and then drain the water. All right, I've drained out all of my water from the machine and I should have shown you that, but it was that same hose attachment we had in the back that we drained our water from before when we cleaned it. So now I'm gonna take a paper towel and just dry up all of this water. I just finished one pass through with the paper towel and there's still some water, so I'm gonna get another dry paper towel and continue doing this. I also leave the back tube open just in case if I have to tilt the machine and more water goes down into the drain. You just wanna make sure you get this completely dry, especially if you're not gonna be using it for a while. As I was going to dry it out here for a second time, I heard the motor shut off, so now I'm actually gonna unplug the unit. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Dr. Prepare Nugget Ice Maker. And as I was making this and getting that great nugget ice, it kind of reminded me of my frozen magic. It's a magic slushy maker. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would check on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.